Previously on Starship Tactics. A victorious captain is one who knows to use energy weapons to weaken enemy shields, exposing the hull of a foe so it can be crippled with torpedoes and other high-yield projectile weapons. Resourceful captains will also be able to recognize and utilize the different classes of starships. Cruisers as tanks, science vessels for support, and escorts for lightning strikes. Configuring and properly utilizing equipment, weapons, and bridge officers is also critical to combat success. A captain is only ever as good as his ship and crew. Power management is another big facet to ship combat in STO. Your ship can only output so much, so you have to decide which systems it's going to. You have to split it between the weapons, the shields, the engines, and the auxiliary. For example, if you put a lot of power into your weapons, you're going to deal more damage. If you put more power into your shields, you're going to take less damage. But you have a finite amount of power based on the type of engine that you have. So it depends on what you want to do at any time as to how you allocate the power. It takes a little bit of time, so you can't switch from one to another immediately. You have to kind of think ahead. Sooner or later, your ship will take damage and you'll need to repair it. So how do you do this in STO? You know, as a game, Star Trek Online, we, we try and make sure that the player's having fun. And it's really no fun to have to get onto your bridge, walk down to engineering, hammer on a bunch of consoles to try and get things to work. So in, in the game, a lot of that stuff takes place behind the scenes. We really try and keep you in the action and make sure that the things that are most important to you are things like redirecting shield power, making sure your whole damage is, is not critical. So fans have been wondering if there are boarding parties in ship-to-ship -ship combat. Well, yes, there are. And the way boarding parties work is you target an enemy ship and you launch shuttles at them. And these shuttles take off from your ship and they head towards the target. When they get close enough, they beam on Marines and security officers that are going to run around that ship and try and take out their subsystems and also damage the crew because that's actually going to impact the efficiency of that ship. So instead of directly taking out their shields or their hull, you're directly impacting their ability to be in combat, really. 